Today's professionals brought to you by The Basement Doctor. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Today's Professional. Today, The Basement Doctor with John Clements. And once again, we're back on location. In, in a basement. nice basement, yes. Yeah. My favorite place to be. Yeah. Uh, we have talked years now about how to insulate and make a house warmer. Yeah. And one of the effects that I've always talked to people about is picture taking a balloon, blowing that balloon up, and holding the balloon pinched it shut. Right. When you loosen your fingers, all that air escapes out the bottom, right. and the balloon collapses. In your house, in the attic, there's something called either a ridge vent or a can vent that is constantly letting that bad exhaust right. air go out of the attic. Yes, those little things on the roof. That, right. Yeah. Well, when that air goes out, the house doesn't collapse. So where does the air get sucked back in at? Where does it replace itself at in the house? Well, it has to come somewhere in the bottom, right? It's called the stack effect. The house breathes from the bottom up. 50% yeah. of the air on your first floor came from its lower level. So when you think of where that air comes back in at, the two most costliest places, one's right here in the window, yeah. and one is what's called the rim joist, which is the spot on top of the basement wall where the framing of the house begins. Yeah. And I would venture to say that probably 90% of the homes we go into have no insulation of any kind in that rim joist. 20% of the air loss in your house comes from that area. So one of the things you're going to see when we come back and do this shoot after the job is done, we're going to apply a two-part closed cell polyurethane spray foam insulation to the rim joist. Mm -hmm. And that will create an airtight seal to that area and we're going to go all the way around the perimeter of this basement. What about the window? Well the window, if you think about it, it's 10 degrees outside. And the only thing between you and that 10 degrees is a little tiny eighth inch thick piece of glass. No insulation there. No insulation whatsoever. So we're going to have replacement windows in there that are very similar to what you would put upstairs in your house. Mm -hmm. Double pane glass, low E glass, all that that's going to help insulate the basement better and keep things warmer down here. Mm -hmm. Got one question for you. Sure. If you insulate like that, where does the air come back in for the house to breathe as close it goes up? Well, our houses need to be more energy efficient. But there's so many cracks and crevices that let that fresh air back in, whether it's through the siding, the gaps of the windows upstairs, it's not going to be perfectly airtight. We're just going to make it as best as we can. Which saves your money. Yes. Okay, guys. That's our report for today from the basement box. I'm John Clemens.